Everything that this training is, is practical. I'm not one of those people that will tell you, hey, you're great. You can do anything and not give you a roadmap in how to get there. That's another thing. We go to people for motivation. Well, motivation is only part of it. That's only part. I need something practical. I need information that after I do A, B, and C, then D will happen. We're going to talk about some things that you'll probably never talk about in your board meetings, but you need to desperately. When people go to work, a lot of times, they're in pain. They're in pain. They're not treated the way they want to be treated. They're not paid the way they want to be paid. They feel like they're insignificant. They feel like their thoughts do not matter. It's painful. And you know what happens? They take that home. And so then they go home to a husband and wife, and they cause them havoc because of the job that they're on. It's painful. Because we are people. We are people. You may work at AT&T, or you may work at McDonald's, but you're a person first. You're a person first. And a happy person is going to work a lot harder than a painful person. If I don't get volunteers, I will randomly call on you. <laughs> I will do it. And you know, I'm going to tell you right now, this is how I pick the person that goes like this. <laughs> Come on down! Yeah, so, so just trying to look alive. Just trying to make it to the... <laughs> look alive. We're going to talk about pain for a second. Now, when you hear the word pain, what do you think about? Name, name, name me some things that you think about when you hear the word pain. Pain for work. Deadlines. Avoidance. <laughs> Suffering. Yes. Stress. Yes. Tears. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Anything else? And, and these are things that you go through at work. You just have to hold it. But these are emotions that you have to hold inside. Because, because Friday is payday. So you just suffer with it. You suffer and you stay under stress. That's what you do. I'm going to teach you something about pain that is going to change your life forever. Pain is an indication for change. Let me tell you why I say that. If you've ever burned your hand on the stove, I have. I was one of those kids where my mom said, don't touch it, I had to touch it. <laughs> I don't touch it anymore. <laughs> I change. But when you touch the hot stove, you immediately remove your hand. First thing you do, you remove your hand. Not only that, you start applying medicine to the painful situation. That's what you do. That's what you do. There's another part of this I'm going to explain in a second. But that's the first thing. So if there's pain at work, that means something needs to change. change. 